Skyblock, a world designed to trap players for the longest time possible. In the pursuit of skills, levels, and ultimately coins, players often turn to the one thing that never lets them down, gambling. And as one of these players, I have a crippling gambling dedication. So for the past week, I have invested billions of coins for one thing. What methods did I use? Which tools did I have to craft? And how much money did I make? But to put things into context, we should head to where this all began, in the Glacite Tunnels. But before we get started, I spend a lot of time working on these videos, so I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe. And if you already did, thank you. Mining is one of the more popular aspects of Hypixel Skyblock due to the large array of money-making methods and their key role in most players' progression. Since I joined Skyblock, I often find myself returning to the mines, so I have almost obtained all Skyblock experience from mining. There is just one thing I'm missing, Glacite Powder. Now, to obtain Glacite Powder, there are two main methods. One, complete thousands of commissions, slowly mining and completing various tasks, all while enduring the harsh cold, or two, sitting inside with the warmth of a nice campfire while having a little fun. Oh, I got another one. I'm, I'm up so much. I'm already up so much. It's actually hilarious. You see, by obtaining suspicious scraps and opening them, you have the chance of obtaining glacite powder. But since they are obtained in mine shafts and are a bit annoying to grind or cost a few hundred thousand coins each, it might not seem worth it. Why is it that like half the time I'm mining for scraps, I get them right away. But then the other half of the time, I mine everything in six mine shafts and only end up getting like two scraps. It, it, it makes no sense. Fortunately, glacite powder isn't the only thing you can get. There are also paleontologist books and fossils that can be sold for a decent profit, which is where this gets interesting. Since they aren't guaranteed, I had no clue if I was going to be losing money, but I wanted to test it out. Okay, so I grinded up 21 scrap earlier, and I kind of want to see if it's worth doing. Okay, this is not looking too good so far. Okay, maybe... Maybe it's not worth doing. <laughs> I do have a basic chisel, though. Oh my god. Yeah. I think I need to max out my chisel. To maximize rates, when opening suspicious scrap, there are a few upgrades for me to make. For starters, I was using a basic chisel, which only gave 16 charges. Immediately, I bought a perfect chisel to replace it, which gives 22 charges. Additionally, I upgraded it with three perfect citrine gemstones, as they have an ability that highlights three treasures, which would greatly increase my odds of winning. After that, I bought a legendary glacite golem pet for its ability, granting an additional 20% glacite powder. And finally, with the powder I'd gotten from commissions earlier, I maxed out my excavator perk to increase the chances I get fossils by 10%. On top of that, I held my Devon's drill with a blue cheese goblin omelet to increase the level by 1, adding an additional 0.2%, and 1% more powder. For mods, I was using Skyhanny's Excavator Helper, which I would recommend anyone opening scrap to use, as it highlights where fossils are most likely to be, and if you get one, it knows almost exactly where to click, which was really cool. Okay, so I need like one fossil every four scrap to make profit. I mean, I get other stuff, so maybe like one drop every six scrap will we'll stay safe, which is like pretty low risk, I'd say. But I, I guess it's low reward too, but if I spam it, it should make it so that it's low risk, high reward, because math. Watch, I'm just gonna lose all my money now. Oh, oh my god, first one. I might actually be him, my RNG is, uh, I'm so RNG carried, it's actually crazy. Wait, I just canceled it with six things left, I'm an idiot. Now, I have been talking about fossils for a bit now, so I should probably go over what exactly they are. Obtained from the scraps, there are eight fossils used in the research center for Skyblock experience, and also in the forge to craft a set of pets. But to me, that's not what was important. On the auction house, they are worth 1.1 million coins on the low end with the spine fossil, all the way up to 4.2 million coins with the ugly fossil, meaning I could potentially make a lot of money, if I was lucky.
In a few hours, I've managed to increase my total powder from 3 million to just over 7 million. And to my surprise, I was already making a lot of money. But in the meantime, there was something I wanted to test out. I've been mostly doing this outside of 2x powder events, which people said would make me lose a bunch of money. But I mean, I'm up like 250 million coins. So I mean, I guess I could wait for the next one and see if it's better. If I were to only participate in 2x powder events, I could theoretically cut the time I spent opening fossils in half, since as the name implies, I would be getting double the powder. Wait, that's actually like so much powder. Wait, 16, that's like 32k. Wait, I just got another 16k. I just had one like two minutes ago. That's, wait, does it double it before or after? Now, that was nice and all, but I wasn't sure how often 2x powder events happened, so I had to head to the wiki. Unfortunately, that didn't really help, other than telling me that there are six different major events and that they happen every 20 minutes. So I'll take a guess and say it means there should be one 2x event every other hour. Don't quote me on that. A trick I knew though is that if you get a 2x powder event and you swap lobbies after the event ends, there is a chance you find a lobby where the event hasn't ended yet, effectively increasing the total time. Now, although it technically would be more efficient, because I was making a lot of money, I got back to opening scrap without regards for events in order to maximize profits. While opening scrap, the price randomly fell from 310k per to 220k per giving me even more a reason to want to finish quickly, as scrap prices were so incredibly cheap. With this last upgrade, I will officially have a maxed out Hotum tree. That is definitely an accomplishment, but I'm only at 14,700,000 powder, so I still have a little ways to go. Like I said, I had maxed the powder tree in terms of upgrades, but I was still roughly 5 million powder away from the actual maximum. So I once again got back to opening scrap. Finally, after roughly 20 hours of opening scrap, I was able to reach 20 million glacite powder, marking the end of my small gambling session. There was just one issue. I still had a lot of fossils to sell. Luckily, 3 perk Cole was elected mayor, and with his molten forge perk, the demand for fossils should go up, or at least that's what I thought would happen. However, right after Cole was elected, the admins released a new update adding many new dyes to the game. To my surprise, for some reason, the price of some fossils doubled and even tripled, and they were being bought incredibly fast. In total, I spent 960 million coins and made back 2.045 billion coins, meaning in the end, I profited 1 billion and 85 million coins. Now, can I actually say this was fun? I mean, I made a lot of money, so I don't know. What I can say for certain though, is I have officially maxed out mining. Well, at least the Skyblock XP. I actually got so much stuff, like off gemstones, umber, and other small drops alone. Look, like, yeah, 400 million, which I was gonna sell off her, but I mean, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna sell it now, I guess. I was told I would lose money getting max glacite powder, but like, it's just entirely profit. I was making 50 mil an hour for most of it. I had no clue opening scrap was so broken.